guys, Megan here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today we're going to do a reformer flow. Um, I could have probably taken a nap today, but I'm really pushing myself to do a reformer class. I think it'll be good for me. It'll get the blood flowing, wake me up. It's exactly what I need on this Monday. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're just gonna use a reformer. And let's start with three heavy springs. So for me, I'm going to put three red springs on. So we're going to lay down onto our backs. And we're going to start with our feet onto the foot bar. So we're just going to start with some leg work. Some foot work and leg work. So heels on the performer about hip distance apart. Make sure your hands are long and flat by your side. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, press through those heels and moving that carriage all the way out and then back in. So we're just going to go in and out, really starting to engage in those muscles, filling the back of those legs and those glutes firing up, our quads, really resist that carriage coming in as much as you are pushing out. So don't let your springs bring you in. You bring yourself in. Good. Just a few of these. Make sure you have your natural, neutral spine, so the natural curve of your spine here. And let's go out for five, four, three, two, last one, stay all the way out, you're going to come in about halfway, and then you're going to do little inch pulses, out and in, out and in, so you want to stay in that nice little almost squat position for five, four, three, two, and one, press all the way out, and bring it all the way in, good, we're going to wrap down, come down to the, um, the middle of our foot, so you're going to really wrap your foot around the foot bar like a bird on a perch, but you're in the middle of your foot, and same thing. Just press out and in. Really try to keep your weight center of your foot. You don't want your feet to roll inwards, and you don't want them to roll outwards. So really be mindful of where we're placing that weight in our foot to bring our carriage out and in. So a lot to think about. We're not just laying here. <laughs> as much as that sounds nice, we're always thinking about engaging our muscles, keeping our pelvis as steady as possible, where we're putting our weight in our foot. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one, let's come in halfway and little pulses. So about inch pulses, stay in that nice squat position for five, four, three, two, and one. Press all the way out and bring it on in. Good. Now let's go down to the balls of our feet. So right on the balls of our feet, hip distance apart. Same thing here. Inhale. And exhale as you press the carriage out. But now you want to keep your heels high here. I don't drop my heels. I'm going to keep them high the entire time. When I bring that carriage in, they're still high. And when I push them out, they're still high. So really find your high heels. So we're working into those calf muscles, getting some nice calf raises. Also, quad should be fired up by now. Hopefully, we got that blood going. We're really starting to warm up here and waking up. <laughs> For five, four, three, two, last one. Press all the way out. Stay out there now. You're going to lower both heels and lift. So my legs stay straight and I'm just lowering and lifting my heels rest really pressing through the balls of the foot rolling down and up legs should be really warm by now it's five four three 
two, last one, stay up. Now little prances are for a jog, so one heel at a time. So really allow that heel to drop and kind of wrap under that foot bar. And then switch in the other leg. So it should be a nice little stretch here. Should feel really good. For three, two, and one. Press all the way up, bend the knees, and bring it on in. Good, guys. From here, we're gonna go into a wide second. So heels on the bar, at the edge of the bar, and you want your knees to kind of falling out towards the corners of the room. From here, same thing, press through those heels and move that carriage all the way back, squeezing those glutes, really find that glute and hamstring here, and then resist that carriage coming in. Squeeze and resist. Good job. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one, come in all the way out, sorry, and then come in halfway in a nice squat position and about inch pulses in and out. Stay low. Push through those heels for five, four, three, two, and one. Press all the way out and bring it on in. And slowly come on up. Good, so we're just gonna do a spring change but we're gonna stay on our backs. So I'm gonna remove two red springs. So I have one heavy red spring. So one red spring, one heavy spring. We're gonna come back onto our backs. And we're just going to grab one strap. So I'm going to keep my headrest down for now. So if you have it up, go ahead and place it down. And I'm just going to place my right strap into my right, my right foot into my right strap. So my left feet leg is free and my right foot's in the right strap. I'm going to put some pressure into it. I'm going to bring both legs to tabletop. So I'm only going to work with one leg, but I'm going to use my other leg as if it has a strap. So from here, we're just going to go into a nice bicycle. So I'm going to extend my left leg and then my right. So one leg comes in and one leg comes out, pointing those toes. So the good, the thing about using one strap, you're just working that one side. So really our obliques, our transverse abdominis, everything's working right now. So we don't rotate towards that side with the strap. So core is working just as hard as our legs. So I really like to challenge the body with one strap sometimes. It really kind of makes these exercises a little bit more challenging, a little bit different, I like it. So let's go for five, four, three, two, last one. We're going to extend that right leg, and now we're going to bring that leg straight up, and our left leg goes straight down. So now we're going to keep our legs straight, and we're just going to switch them. So lower and lift with the legs, but with that one strap. And the legs are staying nice and straight, so we're getting that nice hamstring pull on the back of the leg. Really controlled in the core here. So we don't roll from side to side, we're staying nice and center. We have that nice neutral spine for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, stay here. Now your free leg, which is my left leg, I'm gonna wrap it underneath my right foot. So it's right underneath the strap. My mover is still gonna be this right leg. So please have your headrest down. And now we're just gonna go into a long spine using that single leg. So let's go ahead, starting position, put some pressure into that strap, hinge it up towards the ceiling, and then using our core, press through those arms to bring us all the way up 
to our upper thoracic spine. Stay out of your cervical spine here. Stay up and then slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time until your sacrum is back onto that carriage and then pull through that right leg. So your left leg is just along for the ride. So hinging up towards the ceiling, using my core, rolling up to the thoracic spine, let that carriage dog home, and then I'm gonna slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time until my sacrum comes all the way down onto that carriage, and then I pull my leg straight. So take this as a nice stretch, nice core exercise, whatever you like, go a slower fast, but really go through all the motions here. Good, let's go for two more. Hinge up, and then really use that core to come all the way up, and then rolling down, one vertebrae at a time, and then pull down, last one here, make it good, and rolling down. You really want to make sure your carriage comes home when you hinge up. And then pull down. Good. Keep your leg crossed and just bring it up towards your um, knee and then just let your leg come in and get a nice little figure four stretch onto this left leg. I know we're not working this leg, but it's nice to still take that stretch because we will get into that leg soon. And then let's slowly come on out of this. So we're going to put this strap down, but we're still going to work into this right leg. So I'm going to put this strap down, and I'm going to roll over to my left side. So now I'm going to come onto my left side. You can put your headrest up now. And now I'm going to grab the strap closest to me in front, and I'm going to place it right over my right knee. So we're still working into this right leg. So now let's find that nice um, 90 degree angle tabletop legs. Make sure your bottom leg is directly right under that top leg. Put some pressure into the strap so it moves from your stopper. And then from here, we're just going to go into nice clamps. So I'm keeping my heels together and I'm opening and closing those legs. So I really want to try the carriage is gonna move, but really try to keep it from a keep it try the smallest movement. So you're really finding that sweet spot in those hip abductors, working that outer thigh, outer glute. So the slower the better, because we really focus on what muscles we're really trying to get here. Really engaging that core, keep your hips stacked over one another. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, and now your top leg just comes right on top of your bottom leg, and try to keep the carriage still here as you lower and lift your leg. We're still working into that sweet spot. Good. I'm really feeling it fire up for five, four, you can tell my carriage isn't moving here, three, two, and I still have a lot of pressure into that strap, and one, keep it up, and now let's move that carriage. We're just going to do a little melon size circles, and I'm keeping my leg up in space. My carriage is moving. I haven't dropped my leg from hip distance, I mean hip height, for three, for two, and one, let's reverse direction, same thing. Stay strong, focus on that breath for five, four, three, two, not down here. You're gonna bend into chest and kick through that hill. Still keeping that leg up and hip level. We haven't dropped it. Really burning out that side, stay strong. Engage that core for five, Four, three, two, and one. Come on in. Give that a nice little rub out. And when you're ready, take your bottom foot to press onto that foot bar, and let's slowly come out of that 
that strap. Good. So now we're going to do another spring change. So I'm going to take my red spring off and I'm going to put my blue spring. So we're on one light spring. And now, if you can, and your hips allow you to do this, let's find a mermaid position. So my left leg is up against the shoulder blocks and my right foot is in front. We're going to grab that strap in front of us and we're going to place, I'm going to use a small strap, so if you have the option of long and short straps, I'm going to use a short strap here. And from here, we're just going to go into draw a sword into a backhand motion. So, really drawing that sword, it comes right across your belly. And then using the back of those tricep, um, yeah, triceps and our deltoid to really extend that arm out and then back in. So please be wary of like your wrist here. We're not breaking that wrist. You can tell I'm not like this. I'm really trying to keep that wrist as strong as possible through every motion. So my wrist really follows my hand here. Good. This is too much for you. You can just draw that sword in and out. Good. Sitting nice and tall. Remember, we're not leaning over towards that right side either. We're staying nice and center. For five, four, three. We're going to add on to this. Two. And last one. We draw that sword. Keep it out. You can place your left hand down onto that um, head rest, and then just let that uh, strap pull your body towards that left side to so get that lateral flexion of that side. Should feel really nice. And then stack that spine, and then back into draw a sword. So it's that same motion that we were doing, drawing that sword to that back end, and then just adding a nice little pull on this right side. For three, pull your shoulders back. For two, really engage that core. And last one, really stretch over to the left side. And set that spine. Whew. Good. From here, stay here. We're just going to place that strap into our left side now. I still have that short strap. And from here, we're just going to go into nice shoulder presses. So overhead and back down. Good. And I want to try to keep my arm up at shoulder level here. It doesn't drop. Starts at this position, at shoulder high, and it goes right up over my head. I'm not bringing it down here for starting. Starts at here and up. And I'm just using my right hand to go up and down just to kind of counterbalance myself. Also to make sure I stay center. And I'm not leaning over till that right side. So core is on here. Getting nice sculpted arms, fixing our posture, sitting nice and tall. Make sure our head is right over our shoulders for five, four, three, two, and one. Keeping that strap in hand, now we're just going to come over our chest and press. So a nice little chest press and let your hips rotate, but keeping your hip bone, sorry, let's our waist rotate with our um, rib cage, but we're gonna keep our hips square towards the camera. So my hips don't move, and I'm just moving from that waistline. For five, and my arm stays up at shoulder level. Four, three, two, and one, come on in. Awesome. So from here, we're going to keep that light spring and we're going to keep this strap in hand. But now if you had your feet in that mermaid position, uncross them and come towards the edge of your carriage closest to the camera. And I'm going to sit closest to my springs because this is a light spring. So I want more range of motion. So I'm going to sit closer to my spring to get more range here. And it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. If it's too heavy, always sit closer towards the back of your reformer. But from here, I'm gonna keep my short strap in hand. And then let's go ahead 
and we're gonna roll down. So using our core, find that nice deep curve, rolling all the way down. So you kind of want to use that reformer and have your back on the reformer. Your shoulders can be off. When you're ready, you're gonna take that strap and you're gonna place it over your left leg or your leg closest towards the back of that reformer. Just really quick, I just wanna put my towel down. But there, so take your time getting into this position. It could be a little bit difficult, but either way, long strap over my left leg closest towards the back of the long reformer. From here, I'm gonna place my hands over my, behind my head. I'm gonna keep my elbows out wide, so wide collarbones. I'm gonna place my feet kind of like in a diamond position, heels together, toes apart. I'm gonna stay in this nice flexion, so my neck tin dip down, and I'm just gonna open and close my legs. So I'm finding a nice little inner thigh connection here, really engaging that core. So I have my hips, I have a posterior pelvic tilt. So I found that imprint with my spine. So think about bringing your hip bones up towards your belly button or someone's gonna punch you in the gut. You want your lower back to stay onto that carriage. So you don't want this to fill your lower back. You wanna fill it in your core and your inner thighs, obviously. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one, bring your knees together. And now you're just going to drop your right toe and your left toe. So they start at tabletop and you're just dropping one toe. So toe taps one at a time. Here, really try to keep your carriage still. So you wanna keep some tension in that strap so your carriage is away from the stopper, but it's also staying still in space because you're keeping that nice tension in that left strap, but using the core to lower and lift those legs. So really get into those lower abs here. For five, four, three, two, and one back to tabletop. And now let's drop both toes down and up. Still trying to keep that carriage still for five, four, three, release two and one back to tabletop last one here guys you're going to extend your leg with the strap and you're going to extend your back so head comes back and really reach towards that right elbow look towards that right elbow extend that left leg and come on in and bring left knee to left elbow and then extend so really use that carriage to get that nice back extension, looking towards that right elbow, and then coming on in. So getting into those obliques, still working into those core muscles, getting that nice back extension. For five, four, three, two, Last one, stay up and just pulse that knee towards your left elbow. Over five, four, three, two, and one. Come on in. Grab your knees and roll on up. Whew, really felt those. So that should have felt really good. When you're ready, guys, slowly come out of that strap. I'm just going to take a quick sip of water. And we're just going to do a nice little transition here. So I'm going to come on up and I'm going to be kneeling facing my reformer. For me, I would recommend, I would start with one heavy spring here. So one red spring, one red spring only. But for me, I um, have a little bit more strength. So I'm going to add a heavy and a light. So I have a red and a blue. This might be too much for some. It might work for some. So you pick and choose what weight works for you. I'm going to go a little bit heavier. So I have one blue, one red. I'm going to go ahead and start with my knees directly right under my hips. My hands come down onto my foot bar. 
You can place your feet up against the shoulder blocks, and then when you're ready, you're going to press out. So you see I press out, so my knees are weight are not from underneath my hips anymore. And then I'm going to come down to a nice squat, and I'm going to go in and out. So I'm keeping a nice flat back. And I'm just doing some nice push-ups. Elbows come in at like a nice 45 degree angle. They're not out towards the sides. They're tucked in, kind of coming closer towards your um, hips. I mean, sorry, your ribs. But I'm really keeping my nice flat back, pressing out, engaging that core, and resisting that carriage coming in. We're going to add on to this. So if this is enough for you, stay here. If this is still too much, you can come all the way down and just sit onto your knees and press that carriage in and out. Just coming up makes it a little bit more difficult. You're also working into those legs. If you want to add on even more, you're going to come on up, extend that right leg, sorry, left, and you're just going to press out and in. For three, two, and one, come on in. If you're extending your leg, let's switch legs. Same thing, right leg extended, still pressing into the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, and one, come on in. Whew, let's go ahead. Take a nice little child pose here. So make sure your knees come on out. Press that carriage and bring your chest down all the way down towards the spring, keeping those arms nice and long. And let's keep those arms long and just come into a nice little cobra pose. Nice back extension lifting up and then pressing down. So this is a little active. Sorry about the noise. I mentioned before that I film in my garage and I have to keep the door open slightly, or the garage door open slightly so you can kind of hear the outside stuff. So I'm sorry if it's too loud. I try to stop speaking when it passes. And then last one. And come on in. And slowly come on up. So awesome guys, so let's go ahead and do the same exact thing now on our left leg. So we're gonna start from the beginning with the foot and strap. So I'm gonna remove my loose spring, I only have one heavy spring, and I'm gonna come back and lay onto my reformer. I'm gonna keep my headrest down. So I'm gonna come back, lay onto my reformer, and now I'm going to grab my left strap and place it onto my left foot. Bringing both legs to tabletop here. And I'm just going to go into a nice little bicycle motion. So really pressing through this left strap. Working that one side of the body. But also using my core to make sure that I'm not rotating towards this strap. I'm staying nice and centered. Good. So take your time here. Make sure your ankle is slightly above your knee so the strap doesn't rub. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's go ahead, extend, sorry, both legs come straight and switchy. So keeping those legs nice and straight, getting that nice hamstring pull in the back of the leg. And just switching down. Try to keep your sacrum heavy so that tailbone doesn't lift. We keep that on the carriage. For five, four, three, Two, 
and one. So you stay up there, and I'm gonna cross my right foot under my left leg. So we're just gonna do that long spine with the one um, strap. So I'm gonna start with starting position, leg extended towards the diagonal. I'm gonna hinge up towards the ceiling, and I'm gonna use my core, press through the arms to lift me up onto my upper thoracic spine, dock that carriage home, and then I'm going to slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time until my sacrum comes back onto that carriage and then I'm going to pull my leg straight. So hinging up, using that core, rolling all the way up, stay out of your cervical spine, stay on the upper thoracic. And then slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time and then pull. Good job, guys. Let's do a couple more. Take your time. No rush here. Depending where you are in your practice, this could be a little bit more difficult, especially if you're more on the beginner side. So if you're more on the beginner side, you can just hinge that leg up and not come onto your back. Just hinge that leg straight up and then straight down. Or if you want to add a little hip lift, hinge up and then just kind of lift those hips and then roll down and pull. So, you know, this can be done at every stage. You just take it where you're comfortable with. And then the last one here, rolling down. Good, just move your right leg up, up towards your left knee. Bend your left knee and just allow your carriage to kind of pull back. And you get that nice stretch on your right side. So figure four on your right side. So we're finally stretching that right leg that we just worked. And then let's slowly come on out of this. And then, so for this exercise, well as moving, now my back will be towards you guys. So I'm gonna roll onto, our head is gonna come up and I'm gonna roll onto my right side. And I'm gonna bring that strap closest towards me. Make sure it's not wrapped around. Press through the foot bar of my bottom foot, and I'm gonna put the long strap over my right, my left leg, sorry. And I'm gonna bring my legs to tabletop. Nice 90 degrees, my hips are stacked. I'm really using the length of my carriage here. And now I'm gonna keep my heels together and I'm gonna go into clam. So a little movement with the carriage, but really think about Squeezing those heels together and opening and closing. So finding that sweet spot, outer thigh, outer glute, working our hip abductors. Keeping those hips stacked. Good job, guys. Keep breathing. Find that sweet spot. The slower, the better, more effective. These are not fast movements. We're really engaging and finding that muscle. For five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing both legs. Now, um, unhook the heels, and now the top leg just comes up and down. Now the carriage doesn't move. Keep pressure into this uh, strap, so the carriage is away from the stopper, and you're just lowering and lifting the top leg, open and close like a book. Really working into that Outer thigh, outer glute still. So it should really be fired up and active at this point. For five, four, three, two, and one. Keep that leg up and just little melon sized circles. So keep your leg up at hip level and just circle that knee. Now your carriage can move. For three, two, one. Let's reverse the direction. Good, for five, four, three, two, and one. Last one here, bring your knee to chest, kick through that hill. Stay up at hip level, I haven't dropped it, we're still there, should be on fire now, you got it. For five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it on in and just a quick little rub out. And then let's slowly come out of that spray, that um, strap and come on up. 
So now my back is going to be facing you guys for this set. So let's go ahead and do our spring change. So I'm going to switch to one knee spring, take that red spring off, and I'm going to come into that mermaid position. So now my right leg is up against the shoulder blocks and my left leg's in front. I'm going to grab the strap closest in front of me, short strap in hand, sitting up nice and tall, and I'm going to go into that backhand, draw a sword, into that backhand motion. So remember, if this is too much for you, you can always just do draw a sword. Just in and out, like you're elbowing someone in the gut and coming on in. You want to try to keep your hand as close as towards your stomach. So you're really just kind of gliding across your stomach and then back out. Sitting nice and tall. For five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Last one. Now put your right hand down and allow that strap to pull you towards that right side, lengthening through the left side of the body. Stack the spine and then pull out. So it's the same motion. We're just adding this nice lateral flexion towards that right side. Stretching over. And then stack that spine back to starting position. Awesome, guys. So let's go ahead and do that spring. Actually, we're going to keep that blue spring. And now we're still going to hold this strap, but we're going to do that core exercise on the other side. So I'm going to sit closest towards the edge of my carriage and closest towards my springs here, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and roll down, finding that nice C curve until my back comes onto the carriage. You can kind of position yourself here. So you want your back but your shoulders can be off the carriage. I'm going to take the long strap and I'm going to place it on my right knee. Hands behind my head and I'm going to find that diamond shape with my feet. And now I'm going to go right into those nice little butterflies with my legs, working into those inner thighs, but engaging the core here. Good. Really resist that carriage opening and closing here. So really let your inner thighs do all that work. Keep that nice um, imprinted spine. So make sure you've got that pelvic tilt towards your belly button as someone's going to punch you in your stomach. So your core is doing the work here. And you're not feeling this in your lower back for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your knees together. And now we're just going to drop our left foot and our right foot. So we're just going to drop one foot at a time. So toe taps. Keeping that nice C curve. Saying that nice flexion. Feel this in your abs. Controlled in the core. Dropping one toe down and then the other. And my carriage isn't moving here, so I really am keeping tension in that strap with my right foot. So the carriage is away from the stopper. For five, four, three, two, last one here guys. And then now we're going to bring both legs in, knees touching and tapping both toes down and up. So lowering both legs down and up. Five. Four. Three. Whoo, feel these. Two. And last one, guys. Bring your legs up. And now you're going to extend that right foot or whatever foot that has the strap. You're going to come into a nice back extension. And you can see I'm going to look towards my left elbow. So I'm going to gain that nice back extension as I extend that right leg. And then I'm going to come on in and do a nice little bicycle crunch. Or bringing, closing the gap between my knee and my elbow. So, 
Really engaging in that core, getting that nice back extension. Try to keep the carriage still here. Whew. Feel them burning up for five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse it. Just pulse that knee towards your right, left elbow for five, four, three, two, and one. Grab those knees. Whew. And just take a quick little free kick. Slowly come on up and go ahead and bring that strap down. Awesome. So let's go ahead and do one red and one blue. And we're going to go ahead and lay back down onto our reformers. So I have one heavy, one light. I have my headrest up here and I'm going to bring my feet onto the foot bar. And now I'm going to put both feet into straps. So now you're officially in cool down mode. So let's just go a nice bend and stretch. So bending both knees and extending both legs. Good. Like I said today, guys, today was just kind of, um, I like to call this a reformer flow. I really just needed to move my body. I was feeling really tired. I felt like I could have taken a nap. I really wanted to. I just put my daughter down for a nap and I really wanted to join her. <laughs> but I forced myself to do a reformer workout with you guys and I'm really happy I did. I really need to get my blood going and wake up. Good, let's go for three. Two, last one, extend out and just lower and lift straight legs up and straight legs down. So keep your tailbone heavy as you hinge up towards that ceiling and then using the back of the legs to pull down. So I hope you enjoyed this class as much as I did and hopefully you needed it too. Um, I would say this class is for all levels, but if I had to put a level on it, I would say intermediate, but any wet level could do it. Just modify, and I gave you some modified versions of the exercises, so hopefully those work out for you. For two, and one, and now let's just go into our nice leg circles. All the way around and up. So take these as big as you can. Whatever your hip flexors are allowing you to do, moving that ball and socket. For three, two, and one. Let's reverse direction. For three. Two, and one. Good guys, let's go ahead and just bring our legs into a nice little diamond shape. So heels and toes touchy. And you're just gonna allow your feet to rest onto your springs and your straps to rest over your body. So you're gonna make a nice little diamond shape with your legs and we're just taking a quick little breather here. Nice little breath. Good job. Um, thank you for working out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Just bringing down, um, just kind of relaxing here. Taking a deep breath and exhale. And then let's slowly come on up. So remove those straps, place them in the back, and let's come on up. And that's it. So if you want to stretch more, be my guest. The day is yours. But I just want to say thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed that class. Like I said, a, I like to call it reformer flow. It was just flowing through the reformer, stretching our muscles, lengthening our muscles, also decompressing the spine. Just a really nice stretch. If you needed to wake up, if you needed to stretch, that was awesome. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow for a math reformer class that I'll be posting at 4.30.
So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.